I'm Dr. Heather Wheeler. I'm one of the general surgeons here. And I'm Dr. Greta Bernier. I'm one of the colon and rectal surgeons here. We're here today to talk about hernias and also robotic surgery and how the two go together. Well, what a hernia is is a hole or a weakness in the abdominal wall. So that's the front side or the, part, the side of your belly wall or in the groin. There are lots of ways to fix hernias, is that right? Sure. Um, I mean, hernias have been fixed for, you know, over a century, really. Um, and the very common way is to do an open traditional surgery where you just make an incision and cut down directly on top of the hernia to fix it. Um, then laparoscopy, as you know, came about in the 1980s and we started using small keyhole incisions to do all different types of surgeries. And now we have an advanced form of laparoscopy or an advanced form of minimally invasive surgery, which is the surgical robot. And we're going to be showing you that today. The robot, as she mentioned, is an advanced type of minimally invasive surgery. When we use that term minimally invasive surgery, it is to minimize the trauma to our patients from doing an operation. Um, we're gonna show you a little bit about the robot today and talk about a little bit about how it can be used to do hernia repairs. Um, the one we're standing in front of right now is the patient cart. So that means this is the part that actually is doing the physical work. We are there at the bedside at the beginning of the operation, putting in the instruments and the um, what are called ports, which are sort of little the little plastic straws. Yeah, this is a good one. We already have this docked here to yeah. demonstrate what it looks like for a patient. This is our lovely plastic patient friend here. And these are the trocars or the ports. Those mean the same thing. It would be going into small keyhole incisions in a um, standard patient. We have an extra uh, cord. And then we attach this patient cart to these trocars and insert the instruments through the trocars. One of the things that's really cool about the robot is this fat black band right here that's called the remote center. So if you imagine this being connected to a person's hands and we're moving an instrument around, we could torque and move this and put a lot of tension or pressure on the abdominal wall but the robot knows exactly where this remote center is. So anytime we're moving an instrument, it rotates around like this. So it's not torquing on the belly wall the same way that a laparoscopic instrument would be, which we think is a big part of why there's less pain because this is fixed right at that spot in your belly and then everything else kind of rotates around that point. And this is the, the vision cart, or some people call it the energy cart. So this is what has all the components, our um, camera plugs in here, our energy devices plug in here if we need to use cautery or any other kind of advanced um, uh, energy devices, those all, all go in here and then this is usually sort of side by side with the other equipment that we need to fill the belly with carbon dioxide and whatnot. So that's that part. So this is the third component, the surgeon console. So this is where we sit and control the instruments that are over on the patient and we're going to show you that now. It has again 3D vision through here and the instrument controls are here and here and there's pedal controls for the camera and then some of the energy devices like cotter that we have. Another good thing is we get to sit upright and we don't have to lean over. A lot of surgeons with laparoscopy started developing worsening um, back problems and other things because you're trying to reach an area and so you're sort of torquing and twisting and it was a sort of unexpected byproduct of this big advancement in laparoscopy so um, it does allow us to ha have a more neutral position um, for our own health and the longevity of our career so we can keep helping people longer. So first, for reference, we have a penny there so you can see the size of our instruments. Um, penny's quite small. The instrument tips are quite small too. So that makes for good fine manipulation of the instruments. So I have a grasper here in my left hand and I have a needle driver or what we would use to suture in my right hand. I've never done this before but I'm going to try to unwrap candy. And you can see I can turn it over, I can pick it up, I can grab, you know, little fine points on the candy. Anybody want a piece of candy? <laughs> it looks like licorice, so be careful. <laughs> so for a hernia, imagine that this is material coming from the inside of the belly and going through this hole in the abdominal wall. It could be intestines or it could be fat. Uh, but one of the things we do robotically when we're repairing our hernia is we first take everything out of the hole. It's one of the more satisfying parts of my job. Mm. 
and there we are. And this would be all of your tissue, intestines, and whatnot back down into the belly where it belongs. And then I can look up at the hole with the robot and then repair this. So there you go, that's our robotic demonstration. <laughs>